What is going on, everybody, man? King Greek on here. It feels so good to be in front of the camera again. It's been like a week, and I was like, man, I can't wait to just get back into my house, sit in this very chair, and finally talk about something because I've been in the mood. Because I've been in the mood, man, for that greatness, dog, this entire past week, I was like, man, I just, I want to get home, sit in this chair, and read the greatness and the awesome sauce of Haru Yasuhisa's King! Oh, man, it's been too long. Uh, guys, it's been like since August. I swear... I think it's been since the end of July or August since I've come on here and I've reacted to a chapter of Kingdom Man. But the thing is, is that I wanted it. I wanted to let the chapters build up because of where we left off with the insanity with with uh, Osin Riboku. I was like, dog, man, I don't know if I can read this weekly, bro. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be cliffhanger after cliffhanger every single week. And we know how Kingdom is with their cliffhangers. King Kingdom might have like top three worst series to read weekly because of the cliffhangers like it's just non-stop every week flag narts here we go you know like I, it, it your chapter ends off and you're like here we go again chapter ends off here we go again so it's insane uh but that's why i prefer to read this one in in bulk right when it comes to the kingdom awesome sauce. so i'll let the chapters build i i believe the latest chapter is uh 617 so we'll see how far we get today, man. We'll see, um, because I, on, to be honest with y'all, man, I don't want to catch up immediately, bro. I want, I want to read a few today, read a few later on in the week, and be like, man, I have some kingdom to look forward to. But at at, at the very least, I really wanted to to sit down and read like three or four chapters today, uh, because I've missed it, man. I've missed it. I missed the Haitian unit. I've missed the entire vibe, the the hype that Kingdom always brings uh, every time that I read it. So. I just wanted to sit down. I was, I was like, man, the very first video that I'm recording whenever I get back is that Kingdom Awesome Sauce, man. So let's get right into it. Chapter 609, China Swell. And um, let's see what we have going down here. Like I said, the last thing that I remember is uh, we had the uh, Roboku and the Osin situation going down. And the incredible promos that were being sent back and forth between those two. And then they split off. And then we had Ohun... There at the very end, it looked like he was about to start his uh, battle here. So we'll see what happens here. Chapter 609, man. Uh, no, ooh. Let Banyo and his men go on ahead. We'll handle the ten spears. Kanjo, Gyoun is right ahead. Go. Who's handling that now? And we see somebody get stabbed right here. They're uh, selling us short. Kanjo, I said go. On me, everyone. We'll, we make for Gyoun. Here we go. We continue to see some spears. Dudes are getting pwned. Banyo! Don't be delusional. Not a single one of you shall leave here alive. I, Denho, the first, one, the first of the ten spears, shall personally see to that. The first spear? And he looks over to the side. We see Ohan. Honsama just... What? Honsama, you need to come back. And you see, you see him like reach over for his chest. You could barely pull yourself onto your steed earlier. There's no wheel we'll be able to fight. Please come back, Honsama. He's not the type to listen. The young lord's gone off. Those in front protect him. Keep him alive, even if it means taking a spear for him. Yo, man, that's that's what I'm talking about when it, when when I mean the the absolute loyalty and how much people really do care for each other in this series, dog. This individual just stated, those in front protect him. Keep him alive, even if it means taking a spear for him, dog. Like, yo, take a bullet for your boy. Take a spear, like risk your life for Ohun to move forward, man. And we've and we've seen that be a not only a common theme and a common concept being used throughout the series, but especially in this arc, man. And especially in the most recent events in this arc. And um and it's incredible just to see how far some people are willing to go for others. Especially in a series like this, you know. Uh here we go, and then we see the horses thing at the floor. Uh, ooh, ooh, ah! and then here we go with um, we see in the horse again. Here we go back to back here. What a pan right here, bro. We see Ohun's back, it is he's right in front of Gion, and we get a full page. Did you know how Kingdom how, he, how uh, Hara loves utilizing pages like this? Uh, he's showing off the title page, we're showing off the two characters, and and uh, and get we're getting like a nice headshot of both of them. And um, Gion says. So you've come, Oh, Let's go, dog. 
And then we look over, we see Bihei and the rest of the squad. They're they're putting up a strong fight, but we're still pushing them back. Just a bit more, and we'll be at Gyoun's HQ. Shindoro, look over there. There's Gyokuho banners near Gyoun's HQ. What? He got there before us? You kidding me? Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good to see Shin, bro. Like, I swear. I think my favorite thing about coming on here and reading Kingdom for the first time in a while is all is just seeing Shin, man. Because it feels like it's it, it feels like whenever I see Shin, it's like a family member I haven't seen in a while that I just love with from the bottom of my heart. So like, oh, whenever I see Shin, man, I just want to dap him up. I'll be like, yo, that, that's my boy, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's Shin, man. You threw yourself into the fight and despite your wounds, that's why the Gyokuho are so strong today. Just two days ago, you were at death's door. Kyokai even said that you weren't in any condition to be on your feet, and yet, it looks like I'm not the only one that's an incurable moron. Now there's you as well. Oh, hun. It's just, it's that, it's that sense of appreciation for the other individual, especially whenever it, whenever it's the rival. You know what I'm saying? Whenever your rival uh, goes and does something that he shouldn't be doing, you know, surpassing his limits, you know, even though he's sick or he's hurt, and you know that, that, that if you were in the situation, you would wonder, would you also take that next step to to risk your life in order to continue moving forward? And like Shin sees that, of course, as, or at least that was the way I would take it, as a sense of motivation, like, son, this person that I consider my equal is doing all this, so why can't I do it? You know, we know how hurt and damaged Shin is uh, from his previous battle as well. So that in of itself is going to push him to be able to, to continue moving forward and start slicing and dicing some more individuals here. Uh, let's go, Hishin unit. Gyoun's head is ours to take. hoo Here we go in the midst of all the battle. Everybody looks back. And everybody's just, you know, taking and, uh, and taking in the atmosphere and taking in the, the, the view of what they're about to see, man. Gyoun and Ohan. Face to face, a duel between men. They still haven't begun? Or perhaps he can't. Given the state of Honsama, in that case we should... Honsama! Stay back. It's fine. But trust in me. Oh, my boy said trust in him, dog! When you have somebody say trust in me, you trust in him. 110%. When you have a leader that says trust in you, trust trust in me, dog? That's when you know you leave it all to them, dog. You, you go back to doing what you were doing. That's the ultimate form of, I got this. That is the ultimate way to say that, man. Trust in me. Yes, sir, we'll keep the enemy away. Gyoun-sama, do not interfere if one comes. There are some things I wish to speak with him about. Ohan, have you ever spared a thought for the state of these lands? What is Gyoun? Not, not too long ago, they were enveloped in an age of heroes. The age of my master in Shoujo, of the three great of the three great heavens, for you would have been the age of the Chin's six great generals, man, the goats. A time which saw heroic figures appear one after another, spreading like weeds, leading to a period which saw a level of military might and feats that far exceed any other time in history. Seeing this abnormality, my master likened to it, the rolling swell of an ocean, as if the land itself was was bucking and heaving and heaving to form a new wave of new heights or a wave of new heights and we see like a life stream right here on some final fantasy stuff the land's waves and now we stand in a time after your golden age of the chin six we have arrived at you and your compatriots time we see ohan's face and we see in space the only shit is swole dog my man got shoulder pads like he's a football player like he's a running back my guy should be running the football up and down the field and ain't no one stopping him, bruh. Ain't no one stopping him. Of course, this is also the age of Riboku-sama. I, I, you know what, man? I can definitely give him that because Riboku has consistently come back after taking L's. Like, my man will take an L and come back stronger than ever. Take an L, come back stronger than ever. You're like, man, dude. I mean, you gotta respect this man's determination to continue moving forward even past his L's, man. Uh, this is definitely an, an age of uh, the, uh, worthy of somebody of a Roboku's caliber, man. I am a man who once par played a part in that golden age, but could also be considered a member of this current age. That unique position has allowed me to identify w the one most pivotal difference between these two ages. Can you guess what it is? It is not the strength. It is not the strength of those who wage war. The kings. Exactly. Yo, okay. 
See the arrival of Chin's King Ese. He, he, he who earnestly walks his path with the intention of unifying these lands through strength of arms, such a unique existence among kings has now also been set upon the board. China's swell has been slowly growing and growing and is now reaching its peak. All that awaits is, is for the answer to be resolved. That's a gorgeous panel right here, man. Of, you know, you see Gyo and talking, and then behind him you see the sky. He's getting the opportunity to see the sky after seeing so many individuals just shedding blood all over the place, man. It's... It's refreshing, even for a viewer. I can only imagine if you're like in war, in the middle of a battle yourself, right? But just as a viewer, being able to see someone speaking about something like this and the sky behind them is extremely refreshing. Uh, the answer to the question of whether the scattered states finally be, fi shall finally become one or remain divided still. Yo, my man's talking about some endgame stuff, dog. Of, uh, of, of China, um, of unifying all of China. And we say at the center. Do you understand what I'm saying, Ohan? Do you realize the precipice upon which you and your fellows are standing on right now? Yeah, what a line. Joan Sama, it's the Heishin unit. Shin of the Heishin unit is here. Yo, Shin's music started playing, dog. You heard that Stone Cold Steve Austin, the glass shattering. My boy Shin's coming out with the championship belt, dog, because you know my man just took a dub. He's ready. Ready, so let's go. I shall put you down before that nuisance can reach us. Yo, he's like on a time limit. Like right now in the back of his mind, it's just the Metal Gear Solid stuff at the end of the first one. Where you're trying to ride out of there into the sunset. And you have this massive time run on the top right of the screen. And you're trying to f get the Flagnorns out of there. That's how that's how Gion feels right now. Because he doesn't want to deal with that, man, bro. That boy Shin? That boy Shin, dog, you want none of that? He needs to settle it before Shin of the Heishin unit gets here. I am the blade sent by Rich Shoujo to deliver all of you to your deaths. Honsama, Gyon, I have patiently listened to your spiel, but what gives you the right to boast about your long gone days of glory and in the same breath lecture me on where I stand? All I have done and all I ever will do is to keep moving forward while piercing through anyone who would stand in my way. Yo, let him know, Ohan. You think you're capable of that? Even with only my left arm, my glaive shall still cleave you in twain, Ohan. My heart's been acting up ever since we first stood off today. Ohan Sama, but that doesn't matter. Here we go. Are they about to clash? Ohan, see, this right here, this right here is exactly why I refuse to read Kingdom Weekly. That right there is exactly why I refuse to read this series weekly. Now, can you imagine me sitting down after reading that last chapter and dealing with this? Go on and here about to come. But I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with that. Let's go, chapter 610. Come on. Ooh, a color page, bro. Look at Kyo. Yeah, what has been with, um, with Hara's color pages in the past, like, hundred or so chapters? Really diving and um and getting giving you like the sense of uh, of, of like a a painting of sorts when it comes to his his color pages like he's, he's had some gorgeous facial shots when it comes to the color pages that are like truly wallpaper worthy this one's really nice the kyokai one from the um from the Konki arc was really really beautiful and he did he did one just recently with shin that was really really nice man it's like these nice portraits of these characters that just are, are really really wallpaper worthy Holding the final wish of his deceased master in his heart, this man t makes his own stand on grounds dyed scarlet. Yo, Kingdom Volume 55 looks nasty, man. Look at that. I would love to own that volume, bro. If that, if that covers the content that I think it covers, like the end of the, the end of uh, the end of like the 590s, the end of the end of the 500s. I would love to own that volume, bro. See, man, they're tripping, man. They they really need to... Viz or someone needs to reach out to Japan and be like, Son, we want Kingdom. We need Kingdom. The people want it. Do you understand, bro, how many of us Kingdom fans would go out and buy volumes if they were actually available? I mean, just look at how awesome this volume cover is, bro. I would love to put that, like, right there, dog. And then when people come into my house and ask me what that is, I'd be like, Yo, that's the greatness of Kingdom. What you mean? All right, chapter 610. Gyon-sama. Honsama. He, he goes right back to his heart, man. Like, we continue to see the struggle that he's going through in terms of, from a health standpoint. And he's still going about this battle in the way that he is. And we get a close-up to Shin's face. 
Oh, Han! And we see Oh, Han and, and uh, Gion. We get to look at that classic kingdom panel where you see the glaive right there or whatever weapon they're holding. And he's pulling all the way back. Do you know he's going with a full thrust? Oh man, a flashback. This is not looking good for Gion. When there's a flashback in Kingdom before there's a clash, you know that character is about to catch a fat L, son. <laughs> Either that or about to get a power up. One of the two. One of the two. You both still have a role to play. Gion, when, you're, when your hour finally comes, stain those scarlet fields even darker with the blood of your enemies. Yes, sir. For me to leave this early will burden Renpa and the others. Renpa. My lord. I leave the rest to you. These lands. Man, bro, you see the tears coming down their face, man. And look, just, there goes the white eyes, the legendary white eyes of Kingdom, man. It's coming with all, with, like, all of his might, right on top of Ohan. So let's see how Ohan's gonna get out of this. Not good, Gohan's faster. Ohan puts his, uh, his, his thing up. They clash. He utilizes not the, not the spear itself, but rather the, the staff to block what appears to be not the glaive, but the glaive's hilt. See a crack? It looks like he broke his arm. You, you see a crack go down, it goes on his arm. I mean, with the force of Gion, I to block an, an attack like that. I wouldn't be surprised if his wrist, if his wrist shattered. I would not be surprised in the slightest. We see Gion, we see what it appears to be like a horse. Horse's leg being cut in half. What just happened? He got him! Bro, he got him! I was wondering, I was like, yo, where's his glaive? It's over here! So he, it looks like he risked his arm. He sacrificed an arm of his, put it down, came back, and stabbed him right through the chest. But then how did his spear manage to reach all the way down to the horse's leg? Or the glaive, I should say. But man, dude, see what, see what I told y'all? That every single time in Kingdom, when there is a character or an, or a flashback happening before that, it's either a power up or it's an L. And we see right here that Gion just took a massive L, man, to the, at the hands of Ohan. We're talking about an injured Ohan. He outsmarted him. Gion came in, especially after what Ohan just told him, 100% ready to take off Ohan's head. And Ohan took advantage of that in order to, to use the little portion under the glaive in order to misdirect his attack so that he, would, he wouldn't be able to go in. It's basically a parry. He basically parried uh, him on some Metal Gear Solid Rising stuff, right? Just parried him, slash, because he was wide open at the moment. We could see the blood coming out of Gion. Gion Sama! Man, dude. Gion. Gion is still standing on his horse. Yet, Owen is the one that's on the ground, of course, because of the injury uh, that, that his horse just took. How? How dare you, Owen? Oh, Hon Sama, die! And we see Shin saying, Ain't no one touching this man, us! You protect some Shin of the Heishin unit. How dare you interfere? Kill them both! Wait. And we see Gyoen still alive. Before I die, there is something that I must pass on to those two. Shin of the Asian unit. Oh, I know. What happened? Uh, we went, I went back a page. And the second is, should there come a time where you are unable to halt that sort of unification, then I would ask you to give them a word of advice. A message from my master, Rin Shoujo, who bade me to pass this on to you too. A message for Honsama? What are you talking about? Hasn't Rin Shoujo been dead for decades? Should the two of you truly desire to become the sword that will unify this divided land, then you would do well to heed these words. No matter what the future may bring, they must. A sword that has been raised to deliver a blow must be allowed to fully complete its downward stroke. You must see it through to the very end, no matter how bitter the cost. And we see that Hara dedicates the entire page 
to an upper body shot of Gion, really, really wanting us to focus on him as a character as he's saying these words. I gotta repeat them one more time. A sword that has been raised to deliver a blow must be allowed to fully complete its downward stroke. You must see it through to the very end, no matter how bitter the cost. And you see Shin and Ohan. What do you? Should the day come where these lands are ready to give their answer, then you will understand what I mean. And in many ways, it should have been him. I mean, Shoujo-sama should have been the one to lead us to that answer. I was fully prepared to be the one, to be the first one to offer up my life for his cause. But fate had other ideas. I meet my end now, not as the first, but the last. The one who served him longer than anyone. Longer than any other. And he thinks back to a man. Because that was his master dog. He loved him from the bottom of his heart. Ooh, but perhaps that's an honor as well. And that's it, man. Gyohun dies in battle. Gyohun, the final member of the ten heroes of Surfering Shoujo of the Three Great Heavens, falls in battle on the 15th day of the Shukai, on the Battle of the Shukai Plains. Philippine flag nards, man. See, whenever you have a moment like this, it really takes you back to why it is that like Kingdom is so special. And uh, and it's just character moments, man. Like Kingdom has just so many defining character moments, no matter what side it, it, that they're on on the, in the war. Like it doesn't matter if you're on the side of the Chin, on on Chin's side, on Zhao's side, or like in previous arcs on whoever side on whoever side that it is. You always get those character defining moments for for um, for for any prominent character in a big role in these arcs. And Gion, who has been built up throughout the arc as being one of the main and central antagonists that we had to overcome uh, eventually in this war, and to see him go down like this in the way that he did, and right before he went out delivering this and delivering uh, those final words there, it really just makes you look back at how this arc has gone by so far, man. Gion is finally down. Let's go on to chapter 611, man. Oh, Sin's advantage. I bring news. Honsama has... What's happened to Honsama? He has successfully slain the, the enemy commander, Gion. Are you sure? Has Honsama truly managed to take out? It's true. I was there to see it, adjutant. He did it. Even in that state, Honsama has managed to bring down Gion. The joyous news arrives. We see them all crying, man, of course, you know. They, they have to be extremely ecstatic, bro. Especially considering how Ohan currently is from a health standpoint. You know, like, they're just happy my man's still alive. Let alone the fact that he was able to take out one of their big guns. Like they, he managed to take out Gion of all people. You know, they're lying. It's a trick. How could Gion sama? How could Gion sama? No, look at our HQ. See all that cheering? Once someone has brought down Gion, now is our chance to drive them back. They're gonna use. They're gonna use this opportunity. I mean, who wouldn't? Reporting the young, the young lord has slain Gion. Really? All right, he's done. Now that's what I like to hear. It looks like Dansa owes me ten gold. Lower the Gion flag. So we can tell everyone Chin is one. Hey, why are you raising the he Shin flag? Oh, Ohan Sama was the one who did it. Come on, who cares? I care. It should be the Gyoko's flag. You know, that's whenever you have pride in your flag, man. You're like, hey, screw that, bro. We were the ones that got the dub. Uh, Gyoon Sama, Gyoon Sama. Throw away your weapons. Surrender yourselves. How dare you? Uh, no choice. Take them out. Are you okay, Shin, though? Yeah. Ohan Sama, are you okay? Maybe take off the armor. I'm fine. Shindono. Gion was a strange man to go up against. Even in the middle of battle, he'd start going on about the land or whatever. It's almost as if he... Shin! And we see Ten. Yo, man, it feels great to see Ten again, dog. Captain. Shin, you did it. You took out Gion. And Shin's like, nah, that wasn't me, dog. I'm gonna hit him with that, um... Who was the person that, that, that sung that song? Uh, flipping flag nerds, man. In the counter, it wasn't me. You know what I'm talking about, bro. It wasn't me. I'm a who? I forgot who sang that song, man. Jaggy? Ah, I, I, I don't remember, bro. I don't remember. So here we go. Um, on the counter, it wasn't me. Yeah, shit's on the on the. It wasn't me, gang. Sorry, are you okay? Actually, no. Must be that wound from Jordan. 
Well, either way, Gion's out of the picture now. You know it. The word's spreading across the battlefield, and Zhao's left wing is already collapsing. The Bonanji army is speeding up the retreat, too. All the others have, have, have no morale left after losing their commander. Which means, that's right, we've won. The Chin right wing has beaten the Zhao left wing. Do you know how great it is to read that statement, dog, after how long and how insane this battle has been so far? It's been an uphill battle since day one, but thanks to you taking the lead as the right wing's commander, in the end, we finally did it, Chin! That's what I'm talking about, Goach. This victory has cost us many sacrifices, and those we've lost will never come back, but at least another sacrifice has been rewarded. Yeah, you're right. You've done good too, Ten. No, I. Don't get car don't get too carried away. We haven't won the battle that matters. I know that. That's why we intend to move right away. The Heishin unit has already started form up up near the front with Naki as the center. Sugin's gathering up all the infantry, of course. Our rookies have gotten pretty fast too now. They started moving before the bulk of our cavalry even. They've already done that much. That's fast, and their target is obviously. The Zhao Center Army, where Ripoku is hiding, dog. They're coming straight for the head. Ripoku. Oh, and you rest up a bit first before following us. No promises. You'll have to. You, you'll have anything to do by by then, though. I like saying like dog. And by the time you get there, it's gonna be a dub. All right, Haitian unit, let's move. Whoa! Look at this awesome panel, Shin raising the glaive up, dog. It's a championship belt, and everyone coming up behind him. Oh, send center army versus Riboku center army. Here we go. Riboku and oh, said The verbal jousts between th these two men did not, very did not last very long. And upon its conclusion, the two of them retreated back to their respective armies. And we see them just going up in like Sumar man against each other. Since then, the two armies have remained deadlocked in a head-on engagement where neither side was able to gain an upper hand. But the longer this stalemate dragged on, the greater Osun's advantage. And that was, of course, due to... The Chin right wing, who had broken through their opponents and were now closing in on Revoku, dog. Here they come. They got past our left. Calm down, they're still far off. Denko, what of Bananji? Sir, they've set up behind us to the left in a line, in a line formation. Sir, instead of lur lurking, shouldn't Bananji reinforce our left flank? No, this is fine. Bananji is going by the plan. There is no need to be concerned. Because our left flank has Kinmo standing guard. Yo, man, that's how you know that you have respect for a certain individual. Whenever you say, yo, that individual's back there. They ain't getting past. Like, this man, he ain't getting past him, Skip. Has Kimo standing guard. And we see what appears to be a bunch of arrows raining down from the heavens here. It is a whole bunch of arrows raining down. Well, that's gotta be the Roboku army, Naki-san. They've left their, their, their side wide open. That's just asking for us to... No, it's a trap. Make a right turn and disengage. What? Those riders aren't going for our center army. They notice our ambushes, but they're still cornered. Rats after them. Let none escape. You sure about this, Naki-san? Aren't we the vanguard? Is it okay for us to run away from them? It's fine. We're more scouts than the vanguard, and the job of a scout is to figure out where our enemies have prepared an ambush. And now we get an amazing little base spread here with ten right here at the front, and with the whole army going up here. The trap that the enemy is painstakingly prepared is now useless against our main force. Enemies to the front and left. Take out the soldiers hiding in the forest first. There's more of them ready to ambush us further in. These guys must be their line of defense. Is there Roboku's HQ? You can finally see it. If we can get past those, we'll be right up inside their HQ. Kinmo-sama, the enemy has... It matters not! The ambush was nothing more than an opening gambit anyway. We will crush them with our main force. Look at their men of the Kimo army. That's the very same Heishin unit that slay Keisha Sama at Gokuyo Hills, man. Yo, Keisha, dog. That was, that was quite a battle right there, son. The, the, the spider. The spider Keisha. The heavens have granted us this chance to make up for our previous failure. Whoa. And here we see. Kane, the huge broad is making for Boku Sama. What? Follow me. I'll take her out. Oh, Flagnards, man. All right, I think that's a good stopping point for right now, because let me see six eleven from six seventeen. Let me see six twelve, six thirteen, six fourteen, six fifteen, six six seventeen. Solid like six chapters. Yeah, I think that I think that's a good stopping point for right now, man. That we will have some more kingdom to read later on in the week, uh, for sure. But yeah, man, dude, shout out to 
Uh, shout out to Ohun for actually going up in like swim more and taking out, uh, taking out Gyo and man, and it's the manner that Gyo was taken out too. It was in such a genius way because you know utilize his own strength against him. If my man's going down with all of his force, hit him right there at his hilt, uh, to where he's grabbing it. My man Ohun risked his own arm, Rom on some. You saw the crack right there, dude. You just imagine that because I have a bunch of pain in my arm too, and I just imagine like triple fold. I just feel everything shatter and fracture right there. I mean, I, I broke my left arm, so I know how it feels to have like a shattered arm. So that hurts, dog. So to see like he did that on purpose just to make sure that he would be able to catch that dub, mad respect for Ohun right there, and the fact that he was able to do it, and of course for Gyo and himself to relay the wishes of his master and to relay the final words of his master over to the next generation, man, as he continued to talk about, you know, the unifying of China and how things are going to go, you know, just giving us more uh, insight into how things are going to be in the end game of Kingdom whenever we get to the portion of unifying China and how they need to 100% be sure that they're going to go in there 110% no matter the case and no matter what happens. So, you know, he, he's telling the he's telling them now to, to strengthen their resolve now because they're going to need it whenever the time comes later on the line. Um, but whenever the lands give their answer, bro, I loved that that part of whenever he said that. That was really cool. Uh, but aside from that, man, it was a uh, quite a quite a fun few couple of chapters here. Just finally being able to get back into the Kingdom Awesome Sauce and I look forward to reading some more, man. So everybody has an awesome sauce of a day. Take care. We'll be back as soon as possible with some more Kingdom Awesome Sauce. I plan to see y'all very, very soon, because, man, I'm telling you, man, the road to 10K begins now, man. I'm super excited for the future and what is and what we're going to have in store, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Stay blessed. Peace out, everyone. I know what I said earlier, man. I know what I said. But you know what? I was like, let me come back and read one more chapter. One more. I was thinking about it. I was like, man, you know, I don't have many days like this, bro, where I have, like, a couple hours to myself, man. I, was like, I gotta read some more Kingdom, bro. If I have the opportunity to do so, it will happen, dog. So, I was like, you know what, man? Screw it, bro. I, I know that that probably means less for later on, but... Who knows when later on is, you know, man? Especially knowing me. Let's get back into the Kingdom Awesome Sauce, man. Chapter 612, He Who Holds the Answer. What a title, man. That sounds like something in Metal Gear. He Who Holds the Answer. Let's get right into it. We see Kane right here. In this battle to protect her homeland, she stands together with her master defying the invaders. Chapter 612, He Who Holds the Answer. I'm going to assume he is Riboku. Uh, stop them if they get past us they'll be and then we just see heads flying dog dual wielding out of here awesome halo 2 stuff how are they so damn fast we can't catch up not go to this rate that woman it really is going to reach reboku sama's hq move clear path inventory then here we see my goodness bro i mean yo, she's just slaughtering through everyone dog i mean going up in like swimwear she's a tank she shirio sama over there you can see reboku's hq just up ahead all right, let's take Ruboku's head in one fell swoop. Hua! We must stop them. Behind us is Ruboku-sama. Smashed right through them. about not reacting to Kingdom for so long, bro. You forget, bro. You forget about him. You forget about Hogan. No way, bro. 
I thought this man Hara was saving him for like way later for Shin versus Hulk and stuff. Nah. Nah. Oh, he knew the Reaper. The Grim Reaper in his prime. Bro. Of all individuals to call upon, bro. Dog. Hoken doing Hoken like things. Holy sweet mother of Flagnards, man. Look at his muscles, look at the veins. You know Hoken's in a chapter when my head starts hurting, bro. <sighs> bro, if I would've done this earlier, I would've kept going. Here I am. Dog, no, I'm happy that I read this, bro. Imagine reading this chapter and not, ha not having any more to read. Bro, the bodies are flying. Bro, the bodies are hitting the floor. Why? Because it's Hogan. Bro, the... <laughs> Death itself, bro. Oh, let's continue. Look at everyone's face, bro. They're shook. I am shook. Look at him, bro. It's great. General Hogan. Hogan of the Three Great Heavens, he's mine. Wait, Shirio Sama, bro, you don't want to mess with Hogan. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Broly. I don't care if you're Gogeta. I don't care if you're this individual, that individual, man. You got to have insane amounts of King's Hockey to stand in the presence of General Hogan, bro. Great General Hogan. Look at him. This man lets out a battle cry that brings people down to their knees. Dudes are just, dudes are down, bro. Dudes are going down. They can't help it. The gravity is too much. The spiritual pressure is too much. It's like, it's like there, there's this mallet on top of their head. There's this giant foot. And it's like, yo, you must not come back up, bro. Oh, King Doug. The horses, calm down, Kiapa. Hey. Where is Ripoku? He's already even using Shigoya commands! <laughs> Sir, he's at the HQ behind us. Ora, finally caught up to you bastards. Oh, it's Kane's unit. Damn it, regroup and fall back to Soul's position. Don't let them get away. Please wait a little longer, Ruboku. So, bro, there's no... Bro, we're not about to have... Bro, I swear, if Shin shows up at Ruboku's HQ and we have Shin versus Hoken, I'm leaving. I am exiting this room. I'm exiting the premises. I'm going home. I, <laughs> I'm i leaving the premises if we get the rematch from chapter 350, bro. I'm exiting the premises. I'm exiting the premises. And see him clench. Please, sir, Hoken, someone please remain calm. I am here, Hoken. You appear to see this is kingdom, bro. This is kingdom. You appear to be in significant pain, Riboku. I have come for the answer. The answer. Yes, I'm aware of that. On that fateful day, roughly 20 years ago, that promise that we exchanged during our first meeting, and today, the moment has finally come for that promise to be fulfilled. Excuse me, the day they first met. Our promise, what are they talking about? Not only that, today also marks the climax of our battle. On this day, we must triumph over, in our, over our foes and immediately set forth for Gyo. And to the men of Chin who have no more food to sustain themselves, today also marks the culmination of all their previous efforts. Your squabbles mean nothing to me, but they do. They hold significant meaning for you after all. It was on the battlefield that you first encountered. Oki! No way! We broke you, Hoken. I was supposed to be the man who would guide you to the answer. But the one who holds the answer you seek is someone else entirely. And I'm sure that you yourself already realized that by now. The identity of that. <laughs> bro, if this is happening, I'm leaving. If this is happening, it's... Oh, bro, I'm jumping out the window if this happens. Bro. 
and the, this this is one of the rematches. There are several rematches and things that I've been waiting for in anime and manga, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's the Queen versus Chihaya and Chihaya Furu, dog. That rematch is gonna be legendary. There is the legendary rematch as hopefully someday in the future the match between Shanks and Blackbeard, right? There's a rematch between Luffy and Blackbeard. But upon all of them, bro, upon all of them, you have the legendary rematch between Shin and Hulkin. I can't do this. I can't do this, bro. I can't do this, dog. I can't do it. Bro, I swear, if I turn the page, if I turn the page, and I see shit in front of Hoken, Nah. Bro, I had other things I wanted to record today, but how can I do How can I? Kimo Army versus Chin Right Wing. No way. Bro, I swear... If 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 they take out the Kimo army, and waiting for them right there is Hoken, I I'm bro, I'm I'm out of here, I am spreading. Damn, we can't get past these guys. Ruboku's HQ is just up ahead, but the way these guys move is so damn weird. They're swimming the right, so we've somehow stopped their advance. That's a given. After all, Ruboku has lent some of his personal troops to our cause. Not only that, having the opportunity to avenge Kishisama means that our men are overwhelming the Asian unit in terms of morale as well. Now I'm sweating, man. I'm sweating. You know Hokin's in a chapter when your boys start sweating. Koget, Kogetsu, Togetsu, hit their center. You know the Haitian unit is on his last legs. Bring, bring me his head. The hell do you say? Who's on his last legs? Yo, my boy's still there, dog. Cardio 10. Damn it, I was hoping we could ride the high from Gilden's death to punch through them, but I was too naive. The Kenmo army is stronger than I expected. But if we aren't able to make it through them, then Shin has no hope of winning. They don't have the numbers to get through. Ah, uh, you're right. Akakin, take half of his men and ride to the Haitian unit's aid. I will keep Bananji occupied. Stopping Bananji here is a crucial task and it won't be easy. Do you really understand what you're signing up for? Of course I do. Don't take me for a fool. But if the Haitian unit isn't able to pincer the Roboku army, then the entire campaign will be lost. Now go, I will handle the rest. When I get back, I'll be sure to tell your sons their father was a good man. Then just kill me off, and I have daughters, not sons, five of them. Until we meet again, Mr. Stand-in. Forward, men of the Aku army! The final stage is awaiting our performance. Let us show them what it means to be the first of those sin armies. Next, 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 next page. Next page. Next, next page. Come on, bro. Good lord. Holy flag. Stop them. We can't let them. The Akko Gwimp and Luxor Mercadio 10, those Akko guys who have come here to help us are, yeah, they're damn strong. And because of that, our enemy is now forced to, di to divert their attention towards them, which has allowed Shin and the others to finally begin picking up speed again. And you see Shin going up in Luxor Mercadio, bro, yo, I'm, tell I'm telling y'all, bro, if I see Shin and Hoken the same battles, no, that's more like it. With this, I'm sure Danzo will be able to rest in peace. So those men, Commander Keikyo, sent some men to the left to assist the Haishin unit even more. The Zhao left aren't going to let up on him. Best to play it safe and make sure the Haishin unit remains in as good condition as possible. Look here, Akakin. What gives a 1,000 men commander like you the right to order Keikyo-sama? This is exactly why even now you're still lonely. It's fine. Do what he says. Send 1,000 men to the Haishin unit. You know, every time a battle nears its climax, I find myself glad to have you around. I know, right? He was awful, one piece left. But this time it's different. Because this time it's Shin of the East End Unit, the GOAT! The biggest contributor to our right wing's success today was Osen Sama's decision to send the Haitian unit to join the right wing on the third day. You know, that's so true, though. That is so true. Like, if it's like Osen had that insane foresight to just know certain that things were going to go in the way that they did. Let's just keep moving forward like that. The King Moore can no longer stop us. Kimo Sama, our, our core first company has been broken. Reinforcements won't make it in time. The Haitian unit is approaching. Please fall back, Kimo Sama. Yet again, we have proven to be no match for them. Not just once, but twice. So you need to fall back for Ruboku Sama. You can leave the HQ to us. Bring me my glaive! What are you? There's no time. You must go. Unhand me! I promised Ruboku Sama that I would hold this position to my dying breath. That's all the questions, sir. Let me go. Do you intend for me to flee in disgrace once again? Both Keisho-sama and Gakuei have fallen to the Haitian unit. And if I were to be defeated here and slink away like some dog, bring me my glaive, Chikushin. Do not abandon your duty, Kimo-sama. Chikushin! 
Just because we have lost our fight doesn't mean Ryoko-sama has also been defeated. And so long as Ryoko-sama chooses to stand and fight, he will need your abilities. Not only that, men like you are the pillars that hold up our armies. And a nation's armies are the very lifelines that keep them alive. We've already lost Gakuei-sama, Gyoun-sama, and chogaryu sama With each one of that falls, which we, which, with each one of you that falls, Zhao tips more precariously to the side. For the sake of Zhao, you must not throw your life away in vain, Kimo-sama. There is still much you can offer for the for the future. There is still much more you can offer to the future. Forgive me, Chikushin. I lost myself. I should return to Roboko-sama's position. I leave everything here to you. Yes, sir. I had forgotten, Chikushin, that just as I continued to support Keisha-sama, I was in turn supported by all of you. Good luck to you, Chikushin. And you as well, sir. And we just see a panel of everyone going up in like swimwear, continuing onward. We're through. We made it. Yes, we did it. Shukai Plains, day 15. Bro, don't say it, dog. I swear. Finally, the Chen right wing under the command of Shin broke through the ranks of their opponents, the Zhao left wing, and, er, and emerged directly to the center of Boko Center Army. Bro, I, I, can't, I can't handle this. I'm getting the chair as far away from me as possible. I'm not trying to break another one. Even though I, if I break it, I'll, I'll be forced to buy a new one, and I need a new one. But And emerged directly to the center of In other words, for the soldiers of Chin. Bro, look at Riboku, bro. He sees him. He sees him. And we're gonna see another double spread. We see Osin Revoku with Shin. The pincer attack of certain victory devised by Osin. When the battle had just begun, had at long last come into fruition. And we'd see the Chin right wing coming in there in full force. The Osin army on the other side and Revoku's army right there dead in the center and squished between the both of them. <laughs> yeah, we see Shin still up in like swimwear. We we finally made it to this point. Revoku's had his flowers for the taking. The right wing has arrived. Zao will be forced to redirect soldiers toward them. All the troops advance. We can aim to break through their front. Yes, yes, here it is. The 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 hour has come, Shirio. The chance of victory is ours to grasp. All troops charge. Yes, sir. We see Kane going up in like swimmer. Have the men fall fall back and tighten up. And yeah, you know, have them tighten up, dog. At this rate, they're gonna get through, and, and the HQ will be broken. Someone will be in danger. Kane to your front. And we should see Fute going up in like swimmer. That was pretty close, eh, Kane? What are you doing here? Isn't your post for the to the back? Go defend Roboku Sama, you moron. There's a place I gotta be, you see. So I thought I'd drop by and see your face while I'm at it. That place you have to be? Right, got that burn into my memory. What is he, Axel? With things like this, just making it to the end of the day alive will be a struggle. Fute, catch you later, Kane. Yo, look, look at this man just left behind a death message. Don't just go off running on your own, uh, running off on your own accord. It ain't my decision. It's Roboku Sama's I'm telling you, that man never fails to send chills down my spine. Bro, look at Roboku's face. Look at the face of a man who is not yet defeated. Kane, it's not over yet. The winner still hasn't been set in stone. Actually, no. Roboku, the winner will be so oh, relaxed. See, if I would have seen that Kingdom is on break next week for this chapter, I would have flung my computer. I would have flung my computer. Next page. Next chapter. Next chapter. Go on. Chapter 600 and, uh, what is this, 14. We see an arm flying. There it is, it's Ruboku's HQ. Keep it up, we're almost there. Sir, Benro's unit has broken through the Zao lines. It looks like they're almost within the reach of the Ruboku. If he's made it past, many more are sure to follow. Send all units after Ruboku. That's some StarCraft stuff, man. Foo ha foo ha 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 With Denrimi's boys fighting so hard, it's made things easier for us, too. There's only one or two more defense lines left. Ruboku's head is as good as ours. Hold them back. Excuse me, if they get past us, then we're finished. Damn it, Kane, we can't do this by ourselves. We need the reserves to hurry up and get their asses over here. Uh, that's not happening. All our reserves have already been dispatched to deal with the Haishin unit. Now they can't deal with them. You can send as many reserves as possible. Shin's gonna fodderize them. Ruboku's HQ is just a further out. It's just a bit further. Keep going. Ruboku, bro. I'm shook, bro. I'm telling you, man, to meet Shin there. Bro, I, like, ah. I... Dude, I'm not ready, bro. I'm not ready. Revoke, Kim Mosama has taken command of his defenses against the Haitian unit's fierce assault. Earl Haku is somehow managing to keep the Gunrumi army at bay. I apologize, man. My, my camera's going at bay, but the So army remains unchecked. Go, Fute. Move out, Fute unit. Cut through the enemy's center. Hooah! Zao's men who should be on the defense are now trying to break out. All right, Fute, we're through. Fix up the formation while we're on the move. Sir, an enemy unit just broke through our ranks. I can see they're out behind us now. Do they intend to wheel around and hit us in our rear? 
No, they're no, they're still heading straight ahead. Are they aiming for Olsen Samas HQ that's behind us? Uh, tell that to Q and the fourth immediately. We need the first unit to. Are we sitting in the fourth after those soldiers, sir? No, give me a moment. The first needs to. Wait! They only need a couple of hundred cavalry. Considering Osun Samas HQ is divided by five thousand men, it's impossible for them to succeed, which must mean there must must be some kind of suicidal baiting move. Sending out some of our men to chase and wipe them out would still be a simple matter. But that would mean taking away from our current attack, weakening our advance. This is definitely a defensive play by them. Genius! It's genius! Your little tricks aren't going to work. Riboku. Osun Samas HQ will not falter. Maintain our current offense with all resources. The sooner we crush Riboku's HQ and take his head, the sooner we can ramp up this whole affair. They're not coming after us. He said they're going to keep dedicating everything to try to take down Roboku sama Man, it seems that Roboku sama was right on the money about that, too. Fute Osun's HQ will be firing arrows in any second. It appears that everything has gone according to what Roboku was telling Fute. But at the same time, because that is happening there, it feels like Osun was already a step ahead of that, too, you know? Because that's just the way it works with both of them. Okay, boys, we got a job, and we're going to do it well. Oh, my, my knees hurt, bro. Put a pillow down here, and I don't want to sit in the chair, dog, because Lord knows what could happen here. We'll charge right in from, from here, but I don't want to see any wannabe heroes just stay alive in there. Let's right off for the arrows. And we just see a whole bunch of bodies need to fly. These guys really are. Form a wall near the middle and make it extra sturdy near shin of the Heishin unit. Use the formation of the twin pills. Do not allow them to come any closer. We're the final line. Stop them here no matter what. Cardio 10, their defense has just got a whole lot tougher. Yeah, I can tell. They know their backs are right up against the wall, so that desperation give them, is giving them strength. But this is also the very last hurdle that strands in our way. Overwhelm them with our brute strength. If we can get past them here, there'll be nothing left standing between us and Roboku's HQ. Good lord! Don't head too far in. Stay, stay back to back. Just focus on the enemies that come to us. They go up in like, like swimwear. Quite formidable, but they, can, they still cannot be considered a threat. It will take more than that for our HQ to fall. Aye. It's rare to see Roboku make such a meaningless move, Osun-sama. He probably wanted to bait Denrimi and the others, but they didn't fall for it. Slow down, don't go don't go so far in. Just focus on staying alive, you make it sound easy. And Osun's just looking out and about, bro. No, Roboku's not the type to do something meaningless. He fully intends on crushing our HQ. That's, the, that's what he, the type of man he is. Keep it up, you lot. But how? The Zao unit is not capable of... There's something else. No. Something is coming. Price one. I, bro, if I see Hoken, bro, I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What's that noise? What is that? Who are those soldiers? Wait, no. What army is that? What army is that? What? Who's it? Enemy attack! Incoming enemy attack! Not only that, there's so many of them! How does that many appear right on our, right, on our flank? Right flank, prepare for battle! Who is that, bro? Is, is, is that Hoken? How could this be? Where, where, where did that army come from? And just who are they? Whose army is that? He's finally here. The demon of Gonmon. Bananji! <laughs> bro, I forgot about Bananji, bro! Bro, I can already tell the final part of this arc is about to be insane, bro. It's gonna be insane! Roboku, some of the Bananji army is here. They're heading straight for Osun's HQ. Sir, is that how could... What's wrong? What are you guys looking at? General Osun's HQ is... No way, that's impossible. Stop them. Right, time to go all out. Bro, an eye for an eye. A pincer for a pincer. <laughs> Yo, this is insane, dude. What is going on? Don Sasama, it appears the pincer attack on Roboku is going well. So the Bananji army seems to be, they're making a move. I, I know. <clears throat> Hey, it's all been for this moment, man. We cannot allow Bananji to interfere with the pincer attack. Offer up your lives if you must, even if you must, even if you use your body as a shield, do not let a single one through. I assume tortoise shell formation. Please get back, sir. They're not coming for us? They're making for the right dance summer. What are they? Do they intend on it to hit our flankers from a different direction? It can't be. This is the only place that isn't overrun with trees. Stay calm. This may be a feint. They may reappear soon. Dispatch on lookouts. Yes, sir. What are you playing at, Bananji? Bananji. Instead of uh, instead of attacking the Chin right wing as 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 was expected, the Bananji army instead proceeded toward, towards the south, passing easily through the obstructing forest thanks to their steeds, which had been tempered in the in the steeps to the north. They suddenly appeared in the battlefield right next to Osun's flank, and thus, just like how Osun had set up Roboku, Roboku had also made Osun 
the victim of a pincer attack. And you see Bananji just going up in like swimwear. Dog. And then only Bananji, you know that Hoken is still chilling too, dog. Like, Riboku's, he, it, he's far from done. Far from done. We can do this. We'll take Osun's head while Bananji holds their attention. See, Bute going up in like swimwear. Uh, look, Kane, Osun's HQ is being pincered as well. It must be Riboku-sama's work. Now both sides are equal. They're in danger too. My equal my foot. The scales are totally different. You only have a small unit and some ragtag army from the left. No, it's true. They have fewer attackers, but Osun Sama's HQ is also smaller than Roboku's. Both sides are about even in terms of danger. Perhaps Osun Sama is. But even then, send men to his rescue now. Th that won't win us anything. We can only trust in Osun Sama and kill Roboku first. Let's move, Shirio. Sir, we just got an urgent report saying Roboku Sama's HQ is in danger. We see Kisui right here. I can't abandon my post here, but get Bate to take a mid-sized unit to go to the center's aid. Yes, sir. Moten Sama's uh, Moten Sama Bate is leaving the area, so now Moten has to make a decision too. Must be heading for the center, probably to bail Roku out. Moten personally led the chase after Bate. This was because Chin's left wing still had Mako's officers to take command. Take transfer command to to Chu to Choyo Dono. Uh, pass it along to Rikusen on the front lines too. Now let's go, sir. The Hishin units advance on our left. Is still do not worry about them. Focus on our front instead. Recall, do you recall Earl Rye and Earl Ko back to the rear? Yes, sir. What the enemy? Two of them made it through. Guards! Roboku! Sir, get back! And we see them immediately get extinguished. Roboku's not perhaps it would be wise to fall back. It is still acceptable for now. Strengthen the ASQ's defenses don't let any more through. That's one thing I truly do respect out of, uh, for Roboku, man. Roboku stays right there, dog. He ain't moving. He's believing in his men. They're gonna, they're gonna carry him to victory. That being said, it'll be a different story if those two manage to reach us. Those two. And they're on the way. That's as far as you go, my aren't you a big one? All right, Roko has cut off the huge broad. It just stopped their advance by a bit. And the same thing can't be said for their HQ. They still have no idea what that man is truly capable of. No one can stop Ananji once he gets serious, yo. Oh, look at him, bro. I mean, he has the hair flowing. <laughs> Come to think of it, Kane did say that Bernanji was like a whole different person when he was fighting up north. So that must be, yeah, I suppose. Bernanji's true strength, the man who even the Jiong knew came to call a demon. It's only fitting to end things with a bang. Bernanji's power was at a level that exceeded even Osun's predictions. Truly, it could only be described as overpowering. And he's fodderizing dudes upon dudes like he's playing a video game. This isn't good. We have to stop that man. He's going to plow through the defenses. He can definitely make it for us. Incoming enemies. Protect Osun sama It's Osun. Put him down. And Osun, bro, Osun himself, bro. Osun himself. What is going on? Osun Sama, more of the men are detachment, we're heading down. Fute, it's, it's Osun, he's actually coming down towards us. I know, I have eyes too. What are the guys that we sent to the right? Kotaro's men are in position, they've got Osun's escape path, a escape path cut off. I know, it's a pincer, I know it's a pincer attack and all, but your decision to commit all your resources to the front is now biting you in the hat. Now that we've come this far, there's no way I'm letting you escape, Osun. Your head is mine to take. It's no use, Bananji can't be stopped. Sir, Osun Sama's HQ seems to be... No. Oh, Sensama. Victory is ours. What's happening? What's going on? Is that the HQ is under attack? How did this happen? We saw the army heading somewhere at great speed so that we decided to trail them. Only to win is Oh, Sensama's HQ about to fall to the enemy. Let's go. Bro, that's his pops, bro. You know, oh, one wants to make it there. Wait, young master, we have nowhere near the, near the numbers to assist in something like that. He doesn't care, no, that's his pops! There's no doubt Osun Sama's in danger, but I need you to wait here while I go to the right wing and, re and requisition a cavalry unit to help us. It'll be too late by then! Uh, anything other than going right now will cost us our supreme commander. Nothing will change. What can our 20 men hope to achieve with something like that? Chitinzar won't even be able to fight our way through through that to even reach Osun Sama. It will just be throwing our lives away. You won't know until you try, now let's move! Young master, fine. The rest of us will attempt to make contact with Osun Sama. You head back to the Gyo, to the Gyokuho and bring back reinforcements. No, I will lead the charge. You go bring us help. Yo, Hun said, dog, I'm ready. Yo, man, this is what I'm talking about. This is, this is, this right here is some oh Hun greatness. Have you gone insane? Why are you so suddenly, so keen, why are you so suddenly so keen to throw your life away? That's what I'll give you. I'll give it to you straight. That there is not something that we can mount to rescue in our, with our pitiful numbers. It's absolutely hopeless. Exactly because it seems so hopeless that I must go. I must go save my father. Let's go, bro. Oh, 
<laughs> Yo, man, that's what I'm talking about, bro. It, yeah, I wanted a moment like that so bad for Ohan in this arc. And the fact that we've gotten from the beginning of the arc until now to see this. Ah, screw this. Screw the beginning of the arc. From the first time he was introduced... Up until now to see this, bro. Like, yo, this is this, this is a kingdom moment, bro. Kingdom. Yo, these chapters have been madness, dog. Those of you that can follow, follow. Let's go. Next, next, next chapter. I'm, I'm catching up. Screw it. We're, we're keep going. Keep going. I, I'm going all the way to. I'm catching up. It's Osin. Look, Osin's coming down. He's right under those flags. Great Osin, I'm gonna get him. We have to get Osin somehow out of here. Have they cleared the escape path on the left yet? It's no use. Zal circled around and still have it blocked off. Fute, that's Osin. Osin is right there. Stop them! Keep them away. They're silting around the back, too. I told you I can see them for myself. Just sit tight right there for me, would you, Osin? I'm coming for your head right now. That's Fute. Don't let him approach you, Osin-sama. Oh, it's Bananji. Do whatever it takes to stop him here. Crash into him with your horses. Let us handle it. Surrounded as you are like this, anyone and everyone has a clear shot at taking your head. This is the end of the road for you, Osin. And Bananji looks down to his left. What's going on? Osin-sama! Protect the, those Zhao men, they're going to. Osin-sama! Yo, no, they're going directly for Osin themselves. And they got stabbed. Is that one? Oh, no! No, bro, how did he make it there so fast? How did he make it there so fast? Dog, hold on. I, I, I can't, I can't. I, I, need, I need to sit before I pass out, bro. I need to sit. I need a chair. I need a chair. I need a chair. Leo Master Onsama. Bro, look at him, bro. Oh, look, almost look, he's dead. There's Banyo and the others, too. They came all the way from the right wing, and in that condition, there's so few of them. I find this difficult to understand. Choosing to come here with your paltry numbers changes nothing. You are a fool. He's saying that to his son, bro. He's saying that to his son, dog. After he did all that he did to come here. Oh, Sansama. My lord, Honsama was just... I don't really get what's going on, but I agree with you being... <laughs> Fute, coming here with just over a dozen men ain't gonna mean none. It's over for you guys. Or am I, am I right or am I right? General Bananji. My god. You end this come, Osin. Bananji, this is not the end. I will not allow you to, to lay a single finger on our supreme commander. Oh, hun, bro. Oh, mad flipping props to Owen, bro. Mad props to Owen, dude. I hope you shut up and die already. Koto Sama, they're about to wrap things up. We're here to cut off their escape, but it doesn't feel like it'll be needed. No, you idiot. The only reason they can take out Osin over there is because we're over here. Basically, it's all thanks to us that. And then we see a spear go through his head. Moten! <laughs> Moten. Oh man, it's over, bro. I, every, it, it, it's ending. The, the arc is ending here. The arc is ending here. We have Oan here. We have Moten here. We have Osin here. We have Roboku. We have Hoken. We have Shin. It's over. The, the, the arc is ending now. The arc is ending now. Moten Sama, the Osin army is defenseless. I started with us chasing Bate, but it looks like coming here was the right choice. If anything, I wish we had more men. To us, General Osin. Hurry, we still have, to, we, we still have a path out of. Uh, we need to take out Osin before he gives us a slip. Fute is. Oh, Sansama, we're not going to reach him in time. There we go. And we have Owen. <laughs> Owen is almost dead, bro. And he's saying, screw all that. Yo, yo, man. Owen, my respect for this man it continues to grow with every arc, bro. Nicely done, Owen. I'll handle the other one. Against Bananji, bro? That's Moten against Bananji. Moten, son. Moten, son. Stop, Moten. That man is... Oh, I'm well aware. The reports often mention the fierce Bananji of Zhao's left wing. And looking at the situation, now I'm certain that so as long as this man remains a threat, we're able to rescue General Olsen. Oh, knowing that in mind, he's still going forward. <laughs> that being said, the gulf in strength between us means I'd be lucky to win out, to win one duel out of a hundred. But I do hold one advantage. Bananji doesn't know about my abilities. I'll only get one shot at this. It all comes down to our first exchange. Mess it up and I'll lose for sure. Moten sama Moten! Gramps. Watch over me. Did he? Did, did Moten? Was in dodge? You used the blade to dodge. <laughs> He's above you, bro. He's like above you. 
He cut his eye! He cut his eye! He cut his eye! Next chapter, oh man, this sucks, bro. I'm already caught. Bro, I have a, I have a feeling this was gonna end a cliffhanger, bro. I, I can't do this, man. I can't do this, bro. I can't do this. Yo, my man, Moti. Oh, Hud and Moten and Shin are all going in with this arc. They're all proving a case for why they should be general class men. Yo, Moten in perfect strategy and perfect sync against Bananji of all individuals. Goes up there and cuts his eye, dog. Let me go. Yo, the name of this chapter is How to Stop the Haitian Unit. That, that actually scares me, dog. We have Moten right here riding on his horse. As he cuts his eye, but Bonanji isn't stopping there, bro. And he holds back his glaive, coming right back. Moten Sama. Oh, he dodges again? He dodges again! Yo, Moten's a genius! General Osen's honor guard, focus on taking down Bonanji to weaken his army. Everyone else, keep the Fute unit in check. Protect the general unit until he escapes to the left, even if it costs your lives! Roboku's HQ is also in great danger. The side who protects your commander will emerge as today's victor. Yo, Moten's already a general, bro. Moten is already a general with what he's just done, dog. I don't care. I don't care. Who do you will be the ones taking Osen's head clean off his neck, you sissy looking? Uh, and there we go. Riboko, we see him right here. They still haven't slain him. How could that be? You must hurry, Bananji Fute. There isn't much time for you. There isn't much time left for you to bring down Osen. We're almost at our limit. Earl Ko Shirio sama. Are you really a woman? Goes down and sliced right down the middle. Oh, she's a woman, all right. An amazing one of that. Even more so at night. <laughs> Yo, hey, no paw gang. Earl, uh, how could uh, Earl Ko has fallen? How dare you? Shirio sama. No, they're going to break through. Earl rise fighting to our left. We need to call him over right now. If the chin makes it past us, there'll be nothing but standing between them and our HQ. Move forward. Stop them. Not good. They're going to reach the HQ. Kane, even if the Earl was defeated, like hell you will. I'll stop the woman even if it means that we die by each other's hands. I won't allow her to even lay a single finger on Roboku Sama. Yo, Kane! <laughs> Reporting Earl Ko has fallen in battle. We, we saw it tell Earl Rai to pick up the pace. There's still Earl Rai. Prepare Rubokusama's escape path. What of the left flank? Are they keeping the enemy at bay? The enemy, the, or the left, is still holding up thanks to General Kinmo who has taken a command. They still hold, but they're only barely hanging on. It won't be long. Sir, the second uh, are nearly wiped out, and the third are being driven back. Send out, send out another two units from our left. Have a, have have them mount a flanking attack on the Haitian unit's right side and infantry. Yes, sir. Two, two units are, flank, are targeting our infantry's flank. Dispatch a team from the Hihyo to intercept them. Yes, ma'am. It's no use. Our men can't reach their infantry. They've been caught by. Their reactions have sped up significantly due to their strategist Cardio 10 entering the fray. That's because 10 is a genius, dog! They're countering and sealing off every one of our moves, so we can't make use of any defensive tactics. At first glance, you might think that the secret to the Hishin unit's strength is because they're being held up by that absurd combat prowess of the captain, but the one truly responsible is Cardio 10. It is only thanks to her that they're able to utilize that strength to its full capacity, and now that she's actually on the field, her impact is even more pronounced. She's on the field. Oh man, bro, he's planning on doing something to her, dog. Yo, you better not even lay a finger. Yeah, an ounce of your sweat. Burn not even touch ten, dog. For the sake of Zai, you must not throw your life away. Get me Roshan's small unit. I'll take command of them personally. You will, sir? I'm afraid all of you will have to take over instead. Please wait, Kimo-sama. Please do not wait. Please do not give up just yet, sir. Otherwise, Chikushin and the other sacrifice will have been in vain. They stood their ground so that you could take your command here. I'm not throwing my life away. Both your Boko-sama and I will not die on this day. For the sake of our nation, as the pillars that hold up Zao, we cannot fall here. Then why are you heading out there yourself? And with only a small unit? Because I now know. Oh, because I know now. I know now how we can stop the Shishin unit. What? I have, al I have always been able to grasp a battlefield's movements by looking down upon it. And right now it's telling me that if it's me, that if it's me, I can definitely make it there. And here we have Jin going up in like somewhere. And each on your hand, you can see your bones. The brothers, dog. They're just going up in legs when we're non-stop. I mean, so much so that they're bleeding. Their skin is peeling off. That's all hand they're going on the arrows. I can still keep going. Stop or at least wrap them with something. No point. It'll come undone anyway. Yo, man, the determination. You need to stop and rest for a bit. I'll handle the rest. No, it's okay. Don't push yourself. 
it's only able to shoot horses, right? A small group of enemies, they're weaving through this, they're, they're, they're moving, they're weaving through with their small numbers. Damn it, Cardio 10, the captain's been going at it, but they're still not through. Because the enemy keeps sending reinforcements, but they'll be running out any moment now. It won't be long. Look over there, Cardio 10, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Sosui's cavalry are... And this man just got shot in the head by an arrow? This man just got headshotted? Oh man, Kimo's attack. Kimo's attack. He got he got in the way, doesn't matter, keep going. Enemies coming for us? What protect Protect Cardio 10! That's gonna keep it up. That's definitely Cardio 10. How did they manage to get here? You need to run Cardio 10, but protect Cardio. We can't hold them. Go already, Cardio 10. Here. Strategist of the Haitian unit, the same man the, the same man who killed Keisha Sama and Gakue it was you. A little girl like you. Hurry up. Hurry, go! If you were to die here, alright. You think you can escape? There she goes. Don't you dare miss. Shoot her! I swear. Horror, I don't play games. Horror, I don't play games. I will drop this manga faster than you can count. Don't play games with me, dog. Don't play games with me. It couldn't have been a fatal wound. It couldn't have been a fatal wound, dog. She's not that he has an arrow red. Did, did they get her hand? They got her hand. She has no way of defending herself. <laughs> yes. How, bro? I don't understand. I don't get it. Like I, I like I was envisioning a cliffhanger, but I was like, I should I shouldn't have caught up, dog. I shouldn't have caught up because now we're just back to step one. We're back to step one. Oh my goodness, dude. Stuff like this, man, it's just, it's ridiculous. So the how to stop the Haitian unit thing is them going to go towards 10. 10 gets struck in what appears to be right next to her heart. And it looks to be her shoulder, right? And then on top of that, they shot her hand. No way of defending herself. Now there's somebody in front of her. And I'm praying and hoping that somebody else got to that dude, bro. Because I swear, if anything happens to 10, it's over. If anything happens to 10, I, I'm... Ugh. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. And now, I'm going to read this week's chapter... Because there's no way in Flag Nights I can't read this week's chapter after after this next chapter. I don't even know if this week's chapter is even happening. Because I don't know if it's saying King Win Hiatus. Then we're just going to restart the process all over again. My next chapter is going to be a cliffhanger, and then a cliffhanger, and then a cliffhanger. Flipping Kingdom, bro. And things with the, with the way with the way the kingdom is, I can't rule out ten dying. I I can't, I can't rule out anyone dying. Flipping flag guards, man. What an insane couple of chapters this was, dog. After a pretty tame beginning that was still pretty hype with Ohan and and Gion and with Shin, but. Good lord, man, from that, 
from the moment I saw Hogan up until now, this has been absolute under insanity. This non-stop back to back to back to back to back insane greatness, man. Bonanji and Moten, Osin and Ruboko outsmarting each other. And now 10. I'll definitely be here for the next chapter. You can bet your flag nerds on that, man. I will be here for the next chapter. And I promise, bro, if 10 is even touched, this dude is getting erased. I'm taking my pencil and erasing this man from the paper. I hope Shin, like, flings his, his glaive on some Legend of Zelda stuff, dog, and just launches it and cuts this dude in half. <laughs> and Hoken. And Hoken and Shin is still gonna happen. <sighs> Flipping kingdom, dog. Flipping Kingdom. But you know what? This is why I love this series, man. This, this right here is why I love just the experience of Kingdom, bro. Because it can give you stuff like this, man. It's a true page turner. And it's so good. Like, man, when I saw the sales earlier this, earlier, I think it was last week. When they released the sales for the year and I saw Kingdom at third, no, second. I saw it was at second. Even with no anime. Right behind One Piece. I was like, man, dude, that's how you know Kingdom is great. That's how you know it's flipping gold like bro kingdom with no anime with just a movie out in the theaters and with its manga is out here right 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 behind one piece like what it's even above yaiba and yaiba's anime is phenomenal yaiba's anime is so good that it's making me not want to read the manga and kingdom is still outselling it bro do you know how happy that makes you as a kingdom fan like duh but anyways, man, I've already done some awesome for today. I am going to go take a shower because by the flag, man, for a, a moment I saw Hoken, I was like, oh, here we go, man. I'm going to have to take a shower for this one, bro. <laughs> the sweat, you know, man, the testosterone coming off. Ridiculous. But Kingdom Greatness, man, what an amazing and incredible stretch and bash this was right here. Can't wait for the next chapter. I'm going to go immediately hit up Twitter and be like, yo, is a chapter coming out this week for Kingdom? Because I, want, I need to know. I need to know if, if, if a chapter's coming out this week for Kingdom. Um, because I can't read, of course, what, what the, what this says right here on the bottom. I don't know if that's the kingdom's on break. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that I'll be here for the next chapter whenever that drops. And I'm looking forward to it, man. But until then, a word is an auspice of a day. Take care. Kingdom greatness. <sighs> kingdom, man. Kingdom! <laughs>